Ever since elementary school, Pokemon has been one of my favorite video games. I love the show too. I've always wondered how it must feel to live in the Pokemon world. How it must feel to meet and become friends with other people in Pokemon. One day, a genie came into my room at night. He looked exactly like Dog, one of the greatest legends of a meme. He whispered in my ear that he'd grant me one wish, and I said I wanted to live in the Pokemon world. He said it would only last a year because he didn't want to waste his powers on my piece of shit nerd ass wish. Dog transported me there, but he didn't tell me in advance that I would be a Pokemon. I thought I would be a human, which excited me, because I wanted to find May so I could turn on my charm and her pants would come right off. But not anymore, for I was a Cyndaquil. I renamed myself Carbon Flash because any human name is a horrible one for a Pokemon. I was still excited because at least I would be able to talk to Pokemon, right? Nobody has ventured into or witnessed the world of the Pokemon themselves. I don't want him to know I'm so radical and violent. I have to come up with a lie about where I was when I say get back. <laughs> Look at that, it's my phone. Who is it? Oh, fuck, it's Whaler! I hope he doesn't ask me too many questions. Good morning, Daddy. Slept well? Thinking of me by any chance? When I woke up, the first thing that popped into my head was your handsome face and your shiny yellow skin. Actually, yeah, I thought about you all night. I was just calling to let you know in advance that I'm gonna be going away for a week or two. My, uh, parents called me the other day. I wanted to know how I've been doing, so uh, I'm gonna go visit them, you know? Just, uh, just, just so you know. Your parents, you know, I could go with you. They would have to meet me eventually. Well? I'd prefer if I went there myself, you know, because my grandma died, actually. Uh, it's, a, it's a family thing, like, a funeral. I, I hope you'll understand. Oh. Well, I guess I could meet your parents some other time. I mean, especially because we're going to get married and all. I know we just started dating, and I've never mentioned this before, but I already know exactly how, when, and where I'm going to propose. Sorry about your grandma, by the way. Yeah, thanks for the comfort. I guess we'll talk later then? I have to go as soon as possible. Every second feels like an eternity away from them. Alright. I hope you have a safe trip. I love you. <laughs> yeah. What are you two? Well, fuck! I really hope he doesn't find out my grandma's still alive. Well, both of them. And I really hope they never fucking meet. But I'll deal with that later. Wait a second! Those guys over there! They have the exact same type of bag that Corsola gave me. Pig face and everything. Maybe they got it from him too. <coughs> and they'll know where he lives or where he went. Hey, so... That bag you have? The guy who sold that, uh, that weed to you? <laughs> he gave you that bag? Fuck yeah, bro. We've been smoking this shit all day. Does the trick. I'm so hot, man. About to touch the sky. But isn't it fake? He gave me fake cocaine. No, it's the real deal. I swear to God I've never felt so light. 
Like I'm floating on air, walking on water. Got the world in my hands. Shit, well, maybe I just got fucked over. Nevertheless, do you know where he went? I've been trying to track him down. You know, talk things through with him about my, uh, situation. Yeah, he went down to the right of here, where the trees spread apart. He lives somewhere in a cave near here, a rocky area. It's called Mount Moon. Well, you know the exact directions? How to get there? Just keep walking in that direction until your ass is out of the forest. You should pass a small cave called Diglett's Cave, but don't go in there. You'd probably get molested. Well, thanks for the heads up. Guess I'll be on my way. Bro, remember when we sparked those trees last night? Well, we gotta do it again tonight. Fuck yeah, my man. We gotta do it every night. Hell, we're even doing it right now. Lighting up these joints. You know, I wonder what that yellow Pokemon wanted with Lucario, anyway. Apparently he sold him fake cocaine, but I doubt it. I mean, this weed of ours sure feels real, doesn't it? Preach it, dude. Man, hope this is the right place. I've been walking non-stop for an hour. Well, aside from that part where I stopped to buy a fucking triple patty cheeseburger with extra fries, but that can be looked past. Now, where is that fat little pink nibber? Yo, whoa, watch where you're going, bitch. Blind ass motherfucker. I'm like twice your size, shit. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I was just over here looking for some guy who sells drugs. Do you know where he might be? Drugs? You wanna buy some? I got weed, heroin, meth, acid, cocaine. I got all that shit, motherfucker. Wait, did you just say cocaine? I need some fucking coke! <laughs> I'm having some major withdrawals, and uh, I didn't expect to find you. I was looking for a scam artist, you see, and the pink guy about my size. But uh, your drugs uh, need to be snorted by me immediately. I can't feel like myself until I inhale some damn coke. I'll give you anything you want. I have money. Chill the fuck out. I'll sell you some coke, but I'm gonna need some fat stacks first, bitch. I can give you an eight ball for hundred fifty dollars. You know, about three and a half grams of pure, real deal cocaine. Perfect. Man, this looks just like the bag the other guy gave me, but whatever. Maybe it's a gang symbol or some shit, I don't know. So it's possible that you would come from a different partition. And maybe you have real drugs. I mean, I need to take that chance. You need this fucking coke. And if you'll excuse me, I need to go snort it. Right now. Yeah, whatever you say, it's real. No lies. Out of here, though, you cunt. You're getting on my nerves, and I'm gonna get back to dealing with my drug supply, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> of course. My bad, sir. Boys, I just made another sale. It just came out of nowhere, too. I don't even know where this motherfucker came from, you know what I'm saying? Ha 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 ha! Man, that was so easy! We've been selling these drugs as fast as a pimp can snort snow off a hooker's eyes. Ha ha ha! I know, right? Damn! The Pokemon out here are so fucking stupid. It's because they're all low levels. You know what I mean? Dumb as fucking mud. We should have hit this area sooner. I'm so fucking glad we moved our base to this cave. Remember those two Pokemon Pikachu clones? We sold our oregano to a couple days ago. I saw them in the forest yesterday, thanking me for the weed. These morons actually think it was real. That's hilarious, bro. I know we're gonna be able to afford a fucking mansion. A big fucking mansion. Fast fucking cars, prostitutes, all that fucking good shit. Vacations, private jets, helicopters, you name it. Fucking great. Yeah, let me some prostitutes, but... I don't know about that part actually, you know, actually, you know what I'm saying? 
because I got to kind of stay loyal to my girl, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he wouldn't cheat on me with those hoes. I'm loyal, so he should be loyal too. That's right, babe. Wouldn't cheat on you for nothing, you know what I'm saying? I'm all cool and shit, you know what I mean? Oh, don't get all cheesy on me now, okay? You're really starting to lose my respect. While you're over here acting like a pussy, Evie and I are gonna get laid by like 20 hoes in one night. Cause my kung fu is strong! Yeah, and by then, I'll tell you what's gonna happen by fucking then. I have finally fucking evolved. That's right, cause I'm done with this cute fluffy fucking face. That's my fucking face. I wanna look mean, man. Fucking mean, you know what I'm saying? Maybe turn into an Umbreon or a Jolteon. If you turn into that pink sissy evolution of yours, I'll tell you what's gonna happen. I'm gonna give you shit until the day you die. Yeah, if you turn into Sylveon or Espeon, I'll make your life a living hell. <laughs> You'll wish you were dead. I'll make your life a living fucking hell first. So, it didn't take me very long this time to figure out this shit is fake. Before I came here, I did my research at home, I looked it up to how to tell whether cocaine is fake or not, and guess what? I tasted it, a little bit, and it didn't numb my tongue. I got doped again. Hell, I'll bet you and that little pink shit are working together to fuck me over! Huh? Pink shit? Wait. Did he have a high-pitched voice? He was a piece of coral, right? Like a piece of shit coral? <laughs> Yeah, he was. I knew you guys were working together. I should have known when I saw the bag. Man, I'm gonna die without these fucking drugs! We aren't working together. What the fuck? I sold him cocaine two days ago. That bag is my signature label. I remember him trying to fight me, if you could call it that, but like every weak-ass Pokemon who tries that, I whooped his stank fucking ass. Just like I whooped your mama's ass last night. If he gave you drugs from that bag, it originally came from me, you cunt. So you sold him the fake coke, then he sold me the fake coke, and now I was dumb enough to come and get some more straight from the original source of my own fucking downfall. I was going to kick his ass, but before that, I think I'll start here. I can't keep wandering around until I get my fucking revenge. If not on him, on you. I mean, you basically stole my fucking money. Well, let's go. All you other guys, back up. I'll take care of him myself. You're gonna fucking regret this.